Hi and welcome. In this lesson you will learn how to exploit web browsers using the B framework. So first off you need to change directory to slash user slash share slash beef xss and type dot slash beef to start the B framework. And here you can see the hook and the UI link. The hook URL contains the malicious JavaScript code which will take control over the browser. And the UI is the web interface for the tool. So let's start the web interface by open the UI link. And here the username is beef and password beef. Ok, now on the left you can see the hooked browsers panel. But I don't have any target hooked for the moment. So let's see how to hook a browser. So to do that I will go back to the terminal and change directory to slash var slash www slash html. This is the location for the Apache web server. And here I will put a clone website by typing wget and copy the URL from the website which I want to clone. And paste it here. And press enter. Now the cloned website is saved to index.html file, so I will need to edit the file by using nano and type index.html. And here in the head section I will put the malicious javascript code. This line contains the hook.js url which you can see here on beef. Now I will save the file and let's test the web page by going to the browser and type my local IP address. And you can see the web page is working properly. But if I go to beef, here on the panel you can see a hooked browser with the Linux icon. At this point you can exploit the browser. So to give you an example, I will go to comments and search for alert. And select create alert. And I will type your browser is hooked. And here you can see the alert text has appeared. Ok, now let's see another example and this time I will redirect the user to a different web page using redirect browser and type the URL where you want to redirect the target. So in my case I will type kali.org and press execute. And you can see the redirection was successfully made. Ok, now let's test the infected web page on the Windows machine by typing the IP address from the Kali machine. And now if I switch to the beef control panel, you will see a new entry with the IP address and the Windows icon. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.